Stack Overflow is your best friend sa computer science. Hello world, it's Faye Dean. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I will be giving practical tips for incoming computer science majors. If you're also new to my channel, please click that subscribe button down below and the bell button beside it. I'm also a student at the University of the Philippines, Mindanao, and an incoming sophomore also and majoring in computer science. So, without further ado, let's get started with the first tip. My first tip for you is to code on your own. I'm not saying that you should never ask for help from your classmates because I also ask help from my classmates if needed. What I'm saying is that when your professor gives you a programming assignment, be sure to solve it first on your own. Don't ask for help Mona, but code it on your own first, okay? This is in order for you to also hone your programming skills, coding skills, and problem solving skills. Why? Because when you take your practical programming exam, you cannot ask help from anyone. So this is also a way for you to hone your skills. So if ever that you encounter a bug or get stuck, search mo na sa internet kung may solution ba, paano ba gawin, paano to isolve. But if you've tried your best and hindi mo na talaga alam kung paano siya isolve, that's when you ask for help from your classmates already pagpaturo ka once you've tried your best in solving and coding the problem. So for my second tip is use sudo codes and flowcharts as needed. When I entered college, I was really, really excited to code. However, it was not the first lesson that our teacher taught us. It's pseudocodes and flowcharts. So I'll be explaining what pseudocodes, flowcharts, and also algorithms are. So if ever you know the definition of those terms, you can skip to this timestamp here. So an algorithm is just basically a list of steps to solve a problem. Para siyang recipe, list of steps siya na para makaluto ka ng isang pagkain. Para siyang ganon. While a pseudocode is an algorithm written in a structured English method. Papakita ko dito kung anong iture ng pseudocode. Yan. So ang next naman na i-define ko is flowchart. So what is a flowchart? According to my professor, flowchart is a structured picture map showing the steps of the algorithm. Tinitingnan ko notes ko dito. So, ito ang flowchart. Yan ang flowchart. So, now that you know what pseudocodes and flowcharts are, I'll proceed to explain you why flowcharts and pseudocodes are important. Kasi when your code gets long, like I'm talking about 100 plus lines of code, or if and dami mong if-else statements, minsan nawawala ka sa code mo. So, it's important to have a pseudocode or flowchart with you. Ginawa ko na to sa isang JavaScript namin na programming assignment because ang haba ng code dun. So, medyo nalito na rin ako kung nasaan na ako. So, I made a flowchart for that and mas nadalian na ako i-trace yung code ko. So, yes, use pseudocodes and flowcharts when your code is super long or as needed. For my third tip, use comments Please, okay? So, what are comments? Comments are just basically text that describes what a certain block of code does or what your code generally does. So, akala ko dati yung comments para lang maintindihan na professor mo yung code mo. Pero actually, it's also for you to understand what your code is doing. So, in a programming language, C comments usually start with two slashes if it's a single line comment and a slash with an asterisk if it's a multi-line comment. When I was studying for an upcoming exam, I had to review my previous programming assignments. So since my comments done, it was easy for me to follow and malaman ko anong ginagawa ng specific block of code na yun or function na yun. Mas madali kong naiintindihan yung sarili kong code because let's face it, madami kayong programming assignments na may encounter and gagawin and ikocode. Pero, hindi nyo matatandaan lahat ng kinode nyo. So, it's really important to put comments sa code mo. When I coded a programming assignment involving linked lists, halos parang essay na yung code ko dun kasi I really wanted to explain it to myself clearly. Pero, hindi naman kailangan essay yung comments mo. Pwedeng phrase, pwedeng sentence. Pero sa akin kasi I really wanted to explain it to myself so that my future self can understand it. Comments are for your future self. Hindi lang siya para sa professor mo. For my fourth tip, Stack Overflow. Okay, most if not all programs use Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is your best friend sa computer science. Doon ka magahanap ng solution sa bug mo or pag stuck ka sa isang problem, check mo sa Stack Overflow. Usually, it's there. I'll link Stack Overflow below. So, if you're in an incoming computer science,
and students, stock overflow is your best friend. I guarantee you. So we will now proceed to tips ng mga classmates ko sa inyo kasi I also ask them for tips. And lahat ng mga i-mention ko na classmates, I leave their social media accounts down below sa description box if you want to follow them. So now I'll be reading the tips that my classmates have for you. And first, let's start with Jasper Villarosa. Hi, Jas! So, sabi niya na, expect lots of mass. Most often kasi they underestimate kung sa'yo na course and they thought na sobrang dali lang ito. Well, in fact, it's quite the opposite. I'm reading from my laptop. I agree with this kasi may mga students na pagpasok ng computer sa list, nagulat sila na maraming math. Yes, we have math. May calculus kami. Meron kaming discrete mathematics. It's more of logical na math type. Sabi niya din, usually maraming boys sa Comsai na course. Yes, maraming boys sa Comsai kasi sa girls. But yeah, ang second naman na classmate ko lang bibigay ng tip is from Leila Eugenio. Hi, Lei! Kamusta ka na? So, sabi niya na, be friendly to your upclass, classmates, and anyone that you meet. There are also times that you might be alone because your friends need to do something else and it's okay to be alone. Meet and then your friends mo hindi mo kasabay mag-graduate kasi pwede sila mag-shift ng course at mag-delay or even lumipat ng school. I agree. Now, there are times that you are alone kasi minsan yung classmates mo pagod, kailangan pumunta sa dorm, matutulog, ilang kayo lang yun. Tapos minsan alone ka, pero it doesn't mean that if you're alone, you're lonely. So, yeah, that's okay. Yes, totoo to. Minsan may friends ka na baka hindi mo kasabay mag-graduate kasi mag-shift, baka madelay, back to first year sila if mag-shift, and that's okay. And for the last tip is from Sofia Velasco, cooperate. Huwag matakot ma-amaze sa capabilities ng classmates niya. Yeah, true yun. Kasi ang dami ang dami mo ting classmates na magagaling. It's okay to look up to them. You can ask for help from them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and also comment down below the tip that you really like and also I hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.